Israeli and Jordanian authorities have reportedly arrested several activists suspected of taking part in a large-scale cyber attack on Israel. Government sites were disrupted in the attack, with the Neset website still down. Hackers are disputing government claims that there were no lasting effects. Well, let's talk to Artis and Ina Galushka, who's monitoring developments in Tel Aviv. Alina, thanks for joining us. Now, over 100,000 websites, we believe, plus uh, 30,000 Israeli bank accounts have been hacked, according to Anonymous. Um, does it really feel like that uh, $3 billion worth of damage has actually taken place? Well, we're still waiting for the, uh, of course, for the financial day to start in uh, in Israel. So we'll see whether or not there has been any significant financial damage done. As of right now, on the streets, you really cannot see or hear or feel the pressure of the alleged uh, thousands of or billions of dollars of damage being done to the country, as well as most of the websites uh, who have been uh, claimed to be down, or which actually were down last night, have actually uh, been uh, put up and running again, including the that of the Israeli parliament. Uh, however, of course, there is still uh, there is still information that tens of thousands of uh, uh, Facebook, as well as Twitter, as well um, as uh, various other private accounts of, of ordinary Israelis have been hacked, and that indeed has been true, because, for example, my personal uh, Twitter has been flooded with uh, messages from Israelis, obviously, uh, which were obviously hacked, so there was, there was clear evidence of that actually happening. Uh, at the same time, of course, uh, the, we know that the uh, hackers have said that they have uh, instigated an incredible amount of damage to Israel, and the most interesting part about it is, of course, the fact that Israel did uh, know about the attack coming, and they did say that they have prepared uh, they, they have prepared for this attack. In fact, uh, according to uh, the official figures, there were at least 5,000 IT specialists working on preventing the DDoS attacks from actually having any effect whatsoever. And yet it seems like all the preparation and all those uh, specialists actually did not quite live up to the hype. And do you think we've seen the last of it as far as attacks on Israel are concerned? Absolutely not. In fact, uh, we have spoken to one uh, Palestinian activist who indicated that this was actually just the beginning of their activity. Okay, thank you. That's uh, Irina Galushka, live from Tel Aviv. Well, we are the sons of Palestinian people, and we feel the pressure of the Israeli occupation, not only in Gaza, but also in all the Arab and Muslim world. And as the first retaliation, we committed a fast and full-scale attack on Israeli websites to warn Israel and all its supporters about the threat that hangs over them. They have weapons, and we have our own means. As a result of this attack, we've received the names of those who cooperate with Israel. The aim of the attack was to show the world the true face of Israel and its armed forces, and we coped with our task. We failed to fulfill our goal by using force to resist, but we succeeded through the cooperation of Palestinians and the whole Arab and Muslim world. So now we make a clear warning to Israel. In the future, be ready for new larger surprises. Now, what's interesting about this is that the uh, Israeli uh, Israeli hackers have also been quite active, and perhaps they were even more effective than the uh, official IT specialists, because they did manage to hack down the Palestinian websites, although the Palestinian Authority officials said that none of them were vitally important. And they have actually uh, hacked it and delivered a message saying that for every one hacker hacking attack from uh, Palestine or elsewhere against Israel, there will, there will be a, a dozen of similar attacks on the appropriate sites coming from the Israeli hackers. So this seems to be more of a, of a virtual uh, standoff between Israel and Palestine and Palestinian supporters, of course.